At this time of year in my part of Somerset, with the season recently underway, there are roebuck everywhere. Oh my God, there's one right behind you. I can't believe it. Turn around. There is one right behind me, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like buck soup around it here. Isn't is, it is, yes. There is a lot of uh, a lot of roe deer around here. Yes, if, if we've just come to the end of the lambing season, and if you're you know out early morning and got the rifle over your shoulder and you can and pick pick off a fox, that's great. And if if there's the opportunity of a roe buck, then you know, fantastic. It's great sport, and you know it doesn't hurt just to cull out a few roe buck. Ashley is my neighbour. He farms sheep and tourists with some impressive holiday lets on his land. He hunts with the Blackmoor Vale. This morning I join him on his early morning nature walk. Well, I, I got up uh, just as it was coming light and went out on the yard and fed the horses as normal. And I had the rifle over my shoulder uh, and I was walking around the ewes and lambs um, and everything seemed quiet there. Sheep and deer don't tend to mix in the same field, but one little buck is a lot closer to the sheep than we expect, and we spook it. We think that that's the last we'll see of it, but it isn't. And as I walked up over the uh, the brow of the hill, I just popped around the hedge, and there was a roebuck happily grazing away. He made his way up through uh, the tree line <clears throat> um, and completely ignored me. I think he'd forgotten all about me, put his head down grazing. And uh, just as he just as he walked uh, to the left towards the hedge towards the high trees, I was he was in perfect uh, perfect line of sight. So uh, pop and down he went, and uh, yeah, fantastic. Plenty of room in the freezer. The shot is good. Ashley is using the Browning X Bolt in 308 and a Kite 1.6 to 10 by 42 scope. We see plenty on this walk around. There are other deer on the edge of the woods. It's a perfect picture of the English countryside, but would it be there if the anties had their way and banned us from eating meat? The deer are abundant in numbers. I mean, there's, you know, there, there is huge amounts of them, um, and you know, I don't think it at all hurts to to, to cull out the bucks at this time of year because they, they, there's plenty of them. In terms of sheep farming, um, you know. If, if you want to see England's green and pleasant land, then we've got to manage the grassland and the best way to do that is, is in this particular part of the country is, is to use sheep. And, and the man that's sat there reading his guardian, when his, when his tummy becomes empty, he'll soon start grumbling. You know, we're custodians of the land, which has to be managed, and, and we have some sort of duty to produce food for the nation.